Well, lots of excitement in West Salem as students there are back in their classrooms today. This is after two weeks of online education. District officials say it's worked well under the circumstances. News 8 Now's Jordan Frumstad tells us what school leaders are doing to keep students and staff safe. The ground now holds pieces of evidence showing fall is just on the horizon. Autumn is also the sign of a new school year. Obviously it's a new experience for everybody. A school year met with silence during the first two weeks for the West Salem School District. There's a lot of irony in back to school 2020 since most children aren't leaving their homes this school year. First year, West Salem Superintendent uh, Ryan Reber's career in education is all based on in-person learning. It'll be six months ago on Thursday that we, you know, the state ordered to shut down schools. Educators had to throw out everything they knew about education and reorganize a new plan six months later. They created a plan, so you can bet Mr. Reber had a smile on his face. That's a big step when you're used to teaching face-to-face. -face. This day, they are giving their students a chance to return to some form of what existed before the pandemic. It's been fabulous to walk around all three of our buildings so far today and, and see our buildings alive with learners in them. The challenge now is controlling a virus that has the nation's brightest scientists scratching their heads. You know, really, it's control what we can control. Educators are controlling who enters their buildings and the number of students in each classroom. Every sanitary practice that's been played on a loop all summer long, Reber says they've put into practice. Hand sanitizing stations around the building have a goal of killing germs like a surgeon prepping for the operating room. In between periods, they scrub in and then they scrub out as they're leaving. So we are really working on that hand hygiene. We're going through deep cleanings on a nightly basis. He says they aren't telling students what they can't do. They are teaching them to see their role to help their home community. Really, it's a life skill in knowing that, you know, any decision you make is going to have an effect on others. The school's preparation and practices won't solve COVID-19. Reber hopes it buys them time to see their students in person as long as possible. We're happy the fact that our kids are back. It's the reason teachers choose to pursue a life in the classroom. In West Salem, Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. And Reber says his district is working closely with the La Crosse County Health Department. He says if their district needs to go back to virtual learning, they are prepared to do so immediately.